Hey everybody, welcome to my Black Ops 3 daily videos with me, I'm your boy Z. Now I know that a few days ago I promised to try to do the sword glitch, the unlimited sword glitch with the upgraded sword to see if it would actually work that way because I was able to prove that it doesn't work with the non-upgraded sword. <laughs> so after work last night I was able to get the upgraded sword, it took me about two, two and a half hours maybe to grind it out and finally get the upgraded sword. And then we freaking went down before I was able to get the 10,000 points needed to put my guns into the pack of punch. So, <laughs> I'm still working on that video, guys. I am going to bring it to you, I promise. It's just finding the time to actually do it is a big pain in the ass. So, uh, moving on, I actually want to talk about another holdout spot that we are using in the Giant. Now, what I'm going to do is since there's going to be several holdout spots, especially as new maps come out, Instead of showing you guys these holdout spots, I'm going to start a, a series where all I do is just review the holdout spot and tell you what I think about it and you know how it works and everything. So in this spot, it's really nice because the zombies can't come from behind you at all. It's not like the other holdout spot where one guy's watched the window. In this spot, zombies cannot come from behind you at all. It's really sweet. The thing is, you don't have nearly as much time to kill the zombies. As you can see, they come from the side door there. They come at you pretty quick. There's only a couple feet between you and the, where the zombies are coming from. Now, you can shoot them through the chain fence, but it's not in a straight line. It's really messy that way, so we were just shooting them down the hallway as they came around the corner. Um, the thing about this holdout spot, it worked really well with just two people. With just two of us, we were able to get to round 30 pretty easily. With three people, though, it got pretty crazy right around round 23, 24. It started getting really crazy. The zombies were coming at us way too fast. The thing I liked about the other holdout spot with, the th with having three and four people is that you had that nice long hallway to kill zombies. You had a long time to actually shoot at them and put a whole clip in and kill them in the higher rounds. That's what it basically takes is a whole clip. So with this holdout spot, they come around that corner super fast and you don't have that nice long hallway to shoot at them. So you have to have really powerful guns. What we ended up doing is just using ray guns and things like that. Now this video, I think this is only round 15 we're on in this video. So it's not too crazy as you can see. But yes, right around round 22, 23, it started getting crazy. So, I would say if it's just one or two of you, then use this holdout spot. If you have three or four people, I'd probably recommend the other holdout spot because, like I said, they uh, we used that one with four people and we got to round 33 really easily before we actually had to start running our zombie trains. So, I don't know. That's just, like I said, I'm going to start doing these reviews of these holdout spots. Now, we are also looking for a holdout spot in the Shadows of Evil. I haven't really found one that I'm happy with right now. Not only that, but in the Shadows of Evil, the Margwas make it really difficult to actually use a holdout spot successfully. So, <laughs> all of that said, I am going to try to find a strategy for the Shadows of Evil a uh, quicker way other than just running a zombie train because like I said even though obviously running a train is necessary to get to the higher rounds during the lower rounds I kinda like to hold off and just blow through those rounds real quickly it goes by a lot faster so be looking forward towards more I am gonna be doing daily videos now for Black Ops 3 Zombie I'm gonna try to bring you at least one to two videos a day so subscribe for more if you guys enjoyed and as always thank you for watching I am the one and only Z bye bye